Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for davidwoodfx.blogspot.com with tutorial number two in my Teen Titans special effects series. Today's tutorial will be focusing in on the powers of Starfire. And her power, as you can see in this example, is this green aura around her hand with these little electric arcs appearing in the middle and this hot spot and that is what we're going to be creating and also I'll show you how to create the powers of her sister Blackfire which is basically the same thing only hers are purple and also when the characters get really mad then their eyes glow which um, you guys can basically figure that out on your own you don't need my help showing how to make somebody's eyes glow I'm sure there's a tutorial for that just like there's an app for that so let's go ahead and get started here is the example image that I created and using the same image of Tiger Woods that I did for my last tutorial which was on uh, Raven's powers so let's go ahead and get started first thing to do is open up my base image which is Tiger Woods create a new layer make sure that it's transparent choose the ellipse tool and make a perfect circle in the middle holding down shift and you just want it to be slightly bigger than the person's hand or fist that you'll be covering and also we'll go to select feather and we're just going to feather the edge of this by five pixels now we're going to take this layer and we're going to fill it with a green color and I'm going to use one seven double F double O and fill that make a new layer above that fill this one in with a lighter green color this is a five double F double O just like that make another new layer go to filters render clouds solid noise and check the randomize option and set the details around seven or eight and just increase the X and Y size to uh, something reasonable keep them perfectly together for this so probably somewhere between 10 and 12 will work best just like that and then we'll go to filters render clouds difference clouds and we'll leave the settings exactly the same I might lower the X and Y you can play around with this and look at the results if you want but I think that will probably work best I might make this a little bit smaller just because I don't like the way that that turned out there that's better and then we will uh, remove the selection around that image all right we're done that's all there is to that tutorial okay not really there's a lot more to do uh, first thing to do is turn off this bottom layer we'll name this one glow and we'll name the layer above it base and then the noise layer will simply be noise and we can turn off the glow layer for now we don't need that and the base layer we're going to set the blend mode to add and then we're going to go to colors invert and then we're going to go to colors levels and in the levels we're going to grab the gray slider here and push that over towards the white triangle just like that and then we'll take this white slider and push that down as well just like that so these two control how bright or dark the image is and this one controls uh, the various highlights shadows and midtones of the image so something like that should work pretty well uh, we can set the blend mode of this to normal and duplicate the layer lock the alpha switch and then take the paint bucket tool choose the pattern fill and fill this with this electric blue and uh, make sure you check this fill hole selection option just like that and then we'll go to color desaturate choose luminosity and hit OK and uh, we'll just turn off the noise layer for the moment and set the blend mode of this layer to add and it gives us kind of a lightning effect too so when we bring this other noise layer back in um, set the blood mode of this pattern layer to screen we can sort of see the effect it fills it in a lot more 
than what it was before. We might make this noise layer even darker. I still don't like how bright that's turning out. There we go, that's better. Um, merge these two layers together and then set the blend mode to add. And last thing to do is take this top layer, lock the alpha, and we're just going to give this a very small Gaussian blur of one. And we can take this top noise layer and merge that down onto the base layer. Now we'll go into the glows. We have this bottom green glow which we will take and we will blur this layer about 15 to 20. Duplicate the layer. Gaussian blur this layer somewhere between 30 and 40. Duplicate it again. This one will be somewhere between 60 and 80. And do it once more and blur this one between 140 and 160 and we'll merge all these glow layers together and we might even duplicate this layer and lower the opacity of it. Last thing to do is there's just a tiny amount of an inner glow on this layer. So to do that we're going to take the base layer and we're going to duplicate it, lock the alpha, fill that in with that dark green again, uncheck the alpha, right click on the layer, choose alpha to selection and select shrink and we'll just shrink it down by about four and then edit clear and select none and that will get rid of that and the last thing we need to do is just blur that somewhere between 5 and 10 and set the blend mode of this to grain merge and merge that down on top of the base layer. So now the only two layers you have left are base and glow. In the base layer we're going to take a large soft edge brush, set the foreground color to white, and use the bracket keys on your keyboard, the right bracket to make it larger, and make it the same size as the circle, and just click once to give it a hot spot. Now we can merge that down onto the glow layer, and we can move this layer up to his fist, and set the blend mode to screen. Now setting it to screen gets rid of a lot of those darker greens that are in the glow, and there's a couple ways to get rid of it. One is you can take the first image and just darken that up a little bit, but another thing you can also do is duplicate the layer and set the bottom layer to overlay. And then you can just play with the opacity until you get something you like. It will really help bring those uh, glows back into the final image. If you want to create black fires effect, all you have to do is choose those green colors again and move the hue slider over to purple. AE00 F works well for the glow and DF7DFF works really well for the base image. Just like that you've got the two effects and then you just go about following the rest of the tutorial using those two colors. You can make it whatever color you want. You can change the hues. You can make it orange, yellow, blue, red, pink, whatever. I'm also going to do a tutorial on the Starbolt effect, the actual effect that the characters shoot from their hands. So check back soon for the Starbolt tutorial. I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I will see you next time.